In this presentation, I'm going to share our research, AI as Social Glue, on covering the roles of deep generative AI during social music composition. This work is done by Mia Shaw, Emily Youngblum from Google, and Michael Terry and Kerry Kai from Google Research. AI now enables individuals to do various forms of creative work, such as auto-completing a paragraph, fleshing out a hand-drawn sketch, or co-composing whole sections of music. However, recent studies point out that it can be still challenging to partner with AI for creative work. This challenge might be more nuanced and complex when we consider that people's creative needs and practices are socially experienced. A growing body of work has focused on human AI collaborations but much less is known about what roles AI could play in human-human collaboration. This motivated us to seek to answer the research question, what kinds of roles can AI play in human-human collaboration for creative work? So we conducted qualitative studies with 15 pairs. During the session, they composed music together twice once without AI and once with AI in counterbalanced order. We found that AI played five primary roles in human-human collaboration for creative work. Due to the time constraints, I will focus on the three major themes, but I'd encourage you to read our paper for the rest of the themes and details. We found that AI provided a psychological safety net. When AI was not present, participants felt more judged or socially pressured. One participant said they were slightly embarrassed after their first attempt to compose music, and another said they were worried if their music sounded weird to their partner. On the other hand, in the AI condition, participants felt less responsible to make something that sounded cool. Participants were nicely surprised at what AI could do, encouraging them to try out something new, which ultimately made their experiences more playful. We also found that AI was a mitigator of interpersonal friction in co-composition of music. When AI was not present, participants felt tensions like, this is how I see the word, and I want to make you to see it like I do. However, they were hesitant to fully express their feelings or differences in opinion because those may sound rude to their human partner. However, this notion was somewhat smoothed out in the AI condition. AI's presence naturally put two human partners together on the same team, which shifted from judging each other's ideas to judging AI's ideas. As AI would not get hurt or upset, the teams of two humans were able to have a more positive experience in their collaboration without worrying about the possibility of uh, offending each other. In the meantime, we also observed that AI could reduce the depth of collaboration in their creative work. A majority of participants reported that they were more engaged in creating music when there was no AI. In AI condition, participants felt like AI was the composer and two humans were co-curators or producers, which indicates that the change of humans' roles in co-composition when AI was present. To summarize, we found that AI increased the ease of human-human collaboration, but it decreased the depth of their co-creative activity. The findings provide various implications for how to design AI for human-human collaboration, but I want to emphasize that AI can be designed as social glue in co-creative activities. AI could help build on each other's ideas, while helping maintain cordiality and forward momentum. Also, designers could note that potential shortcomings of AI of easing or deepening human-human collaboration and tailored technologies to best support specific goals and tasks. 
Thanks for listening to the presentation and you can find more details from our paper.